All right, folks, the deals just keep on rolling. They're just keeping on. New stuff, new deals daily at the depot. And all seriousness, guys, it's just amazing how much of a footprint that Milwaukee now has at Home Depot. You know, we all see the, the guys in the red T-shirts, you know, walking around the Home Depot. No, don't put the... We get that DeWalt nailer? No, you don't want that. Hey, the Milwaukee's not only sixty dollars cheaper, but there's no delay. I mean, it's rapid fire. Our nail guns. Put that back. All right. So, joking. Relax, everybody. <clears throat> but. All seriousness, a huge footprint of tools. I mean, almost every tool now, it's almost like you got Ryobi, all right? Um, DIY, and even they're going more prosumer. But for the pro now, it's Milwaukee. Because I tell you, they don't carry a lot of Makita stuff um, that the pro tradesman needs in the stores, DeWalt, they carry a little bit more than the Makita stuff, but the, the, the Milwaukee stuff, I mean, literally every tool, all right? Now, let's not be crazy and talk about, you know, the, you know, stick plunger, you know, but there might be a depot that carries that, but the amount of tools and the amount of square footage and the amount of display uh, square feet that Milwaukee now takes up in Home Depot is absolutely insane. Anyway, all right, so we saw the um, a couple of these deals before. Obviously, this is probably the third or fourth promo over the last three or four years since this inflator has come out. 99 bucks, all right, 1.5 could be the two. Uh, this is going to be available online. If I can find it, I'll post it under this video. All right, we know about the um, new uh, sockets. You heard me talk about it last year with all these new impact wrenches coming out. Do not be surprised if we see a full array of half-inch, three-eighths, and even three-quarter um, impact sockets because the sets that they have... <laughs> You know, I think they have a six-piece three-eighth set and maybe a nine-piece half-inch set that they've been rocking with for the past six or seven years. And, you know, you can't really do that when you got like eight or nine professional impact wrenches. Well, it's just not good business because people are buying these impact wrenches because they love Milwaukee Red. And they would buy your sockets, too, if you had them. So here they are. And, you know, again, this is, and I'm, I'm sorry about the little thing here, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do here, unfortunately, because people don't like to give credit sometimes. So they'll just take your picture and say that they found it. So we got it up there. All right. So this is the eight piece set. Now, there's a lot of different size sets, guys. All right. Ranging from all, you know, they got some smaller three eighths. They got a. You know, deep well, three-eighths, same thing with the half-inch. This is an eight-piece set, all right? Um, it's going to come with a nice, a nice rail, all right, where you could put it. And this one goes up to three-fourths. Now, they do have a bigger set, um, but I think three four. you know, with three-eighths, guys, usually three-fourths is the biggest you're going to go. Um, if you want to buy those specialty sockets like the 22, 23, 24 millimeter, you usually have to buy them. Um, some sets will, will have them three eighths. Well, I don't know about three eighths, obviously half inch going up to 36 inch in sets, but usually with the three eighths, you know, 21 millimeter, 22 is about the top. Then you want something bigger. You got to go by independently, but nice set here. All right. Deep well. All right. So this would be great, uh, for a lot of you guys also comes with a, extended socket adapter okay not a bad set for 34 bucks guys you know you got to remember this is a much 
I don't want to say much, but this is a better impact socket set than their, you know, seven, eight year old set. That three, eight set, which again, I think you might've got like a little hard case. Some people like these rails, some people don't, but you know, it was like $85 for that for a long time. And the half inch was around a hundred dollars, you know, for, for six sockets. I mean, maybe it was like $79 or 80 bucks for the three eights, right? But the half inch was around like $89.99 for like eight sockets. No one bought the Milwaukee Impact sockets because you didn't get anything and they were so expensive. They've changed that dramatically. Uh, dramatically. Or drastically. Did I say dramatically? It is early, guys. And I am drinking my morning coffee. But drastically. I mean, 35 bucks for a socket set, a Milwaukee socket set is insane. And re remember, excuse me, um, these are all available. If you want the bigger sets, you know, again, if I can find them. But I did a video on them. Do a search. And Acme Tools has a lot of these new Milwaukee uh, impact socket sets available. Uh, $54, we know about the 475 foot rechargeable hard hat headlamp kit, okay, uh, $54.97, but the sockets are really, really awesome, all right, now, hopefully, again, I don't know why they're not carrying metric, again, I, I, Milwaukee should know that, obviously, metric sockets, if you're going to put them in, in the store, you know, metric sockets are much more popular. So, you know, obviously people will buy these. And let me just see if these are both 3.8 drive. Yeah. And look, at they're, they're almost already gone. This was just put up yesterday. Somebody bought two or three of them already. Gone. Gone. All right. This is the other side of, you know, you heard me talking two days ago about What's on the other side of the promo with, you know, the angle grinder for, you know, 179 You know, there's got to be maybe like a starter kit. And he's, and uh, Brian said he thought it was nailers. And, and it absolutely was. All right. So you get your framing nailer. You're going to be able to save 20 bucks on. These are all bare tool. 329 All right. For your 21 inch. So they're carrying them all. You got your 21 degree. And your 30 degree, both $329 in store, okay? As you can see, you got the brad nailer and you got the pin nailer, all right? You also have your compressor. Now, why they would put a compressor with <laughs> non-compressor nailers? Uh, weird. Ding, ding, ding. All right, but they did lower the price a little bit. Um you know, this was overpriced from the start. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. It still is overpriced. Because it's just tool only, I believe. And remember, you can get the bigger, okay, DeWalt for $279 with a flex volt battery and charger. Okay? So, but it's funny how they don't have the, um, the finish nailer. So don't be surprised if we see a new version of that, even though there wasn't any real reported problems besides the weight of, you know, the Gen 1 uh, finish nailer. I have the 15 degree. I personally love it. Um, did I say 15 degree to 15 gauge uh, finish nailer? Um, and, I, I, you know, I love it. But it's just a different style. So I, I think they're going to come out you know, with a brand new Gen 2, just like it did with the Brad Nailer. Now, the thing that they had to come out with a new Brad Nailer because there were so many problems with the Gen 1. Um, wasn't able to sink um, nails on certain woods. And there was just a lot of problems with that. A lot of people complained. And Milwaukee does listen. I will give the Milwaukee that. And they... Uh, designed a brand new brad nailer so even though there's no really problems with the finish nailer it's not included in this promotion 
Um, I just think we're going to see, and it's going to look just like these. It's, you know, it's kind of weird. You got the, this framing nailer, you got the new Brad nailer, you got the pin nailer, but then your finish nailer looks totally different, right? It just looks, it's a totally different designed and style nailer. I, I'm pretty sure they want to keep them all the same. So don't be surprised, MPS 2021, we see a new updated Finish nailer. And the finish nailer is the, probably the most, I don't know though, guys. You know, the pin nailer has become so popular over the past few years. Yeah, I would probably say the Brad nailer is the most popular. Yeah, it depends on what you're, you know, what you're doing. So, you, you know, you really can't say. But the average homeowner does not need a framing nailer, even though... I know a lot of you guys got it. You probably will never have to bring it out unless you're building, you know, yourself a shed or something. But, all right, so, and you got the compressor, of course. It's huge. Again, I got to finish the video. I got half of it done last fall, comparing it to the DeWalt. It's it's horrible. Um, I would actually even go with, like, you know, if you're looking for a compressor, um, you know, if you don't only need a, a gallon, go with the Ryobi, right? If you need a, like a bigger one, that Craftsman is pretty much the same thing as the DeWalt. Now, again, I, I would get the DeWalt, but I think the DeWalt spec wise is exactly the same, but it's still like another $70 even cheaper than, you know, the DeWalt. So plus it's a pancake. This is a hot dog, you know, it's, it's weird, weird. All right, here's some other deals. We talked about them. Here's uh, the, the masks, the glasses. Um, I got some other deals from Makita and stuff like that. We'll talk about them. Got your ink zoles, different colored ink zoles. All right, fine point, colored job site markers. You got a two pack, four pack, and a 12 pack. And you got a two pack of bold line chalk. All right, so more deals. Uh, really excited for the sockets, guys. Um, you know, especially the new half inch. Very bold. They they did a great job with the design. You got the red, but real bold lettering. So you can always see what you're grabbing. Um, hopefully we'll get ourselves, look at this, world's longest lasting marking. So that mat, that, that those markings, you know, five, sixteen, three, eight, they're gonna last, according to Milwaukee, anyway. I will right, we'll catch you on the flip.